So now I'm going to take my enormous biscuits and now I'm gonna change my freaking batteries. Are you serious right now? <laughs> cornstarch and my seasonings. Do cornstarch. I said cornstarch. I have an oxa now. Hey, welcome back. And in today's video, we have five dinner recipes for you. They're like autumn inspired, like comfort foods, whatever. So let me show you what you got. Also, I wanted to say that next week's video is going to actually be on Sunday, which is after Thanksgiving Sunday. And then after that, we'll be back to our regular Thursday days. So anyway, let's get to it. And this is my recipe, and this is everything you're going to need, and the measurements for this simple shepherd's pie. Okay, so I have it all laid out on the table, and so I have about approximately two pounds of potatoes. I weighed them, they're almost two pounds. And my seasonings and salt and pepper, and a half a pound of ground beef, a bag of frozen vegetables, mixed vegetables, and about a cup of shredded chicken. Okay, so what I'm going to start with is just by peeling my potatoes so I can uh, cut them up and boil them to make my mashed potatoes. Okay, get a grip on it. Time to cut my potatoes. Oh, there's so much noise happening. Okay, so now I'm just going to cook my potatoes. I'm just gonna cover them with water about an inch higher than the potatoes with some salt, and then I'm going to cook them to a boil and then simmer for about 20 minutes until they're tender, until I poke it with the fork and it's soft. So now I'm just gonna heat up my vegetables and, oops, I just hit the camera, and ground beef and chicken on the stove and my seasonings. And the stove is dirty, don't pay attention to that. It's used multiple times every day. Also that bowl, I just kind of blew in there and put it in the It'll all work out by then. How many bottles are you Ah, Becca, what is happening? You said the water. I have to turn it through. I can feel the flavor. I'm like, oh my gosh. This is gonna be good. I'm not used to putting so many things in there. So I'm just putting salt and pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and oregano in here now. And I, I don't know how that's it. I got nothing else. I'm here, I'm here. So now I'm going to put some butter. I'm gonna put a half a stick of butter in my potatoes. They're done. And then I'm gonna to attempt to mash them with this. My masher is gone and I don't wanna use my mixer right now, so we'll try that. We have some heavy cream, so I'm just gonna use that. I'm not gonna measure it, but it'll probably be about, I don't know, a fourth of a cup, third of a cup, something like that. So what I'm gonna do is put all my vegetable meat mixture in my casserole dish and put my mashed potatoes on top of it and then put it in a 400 degree oven for, well, let's see, but probably about a half hour or 25 minutes, something like that. This looks pretty good, Becca. It's pretty mushy. mushy. Who was it on Friends? Who was that? Who likes to have the chunks? Oh, one of them likes to have the chunks. This is pretty good. I don't know. I think it was one of the guys, though. One of the guys. Who was it? Uh... Oh, I don't know. Just watch that. Looks pretty good. Salt and pepper. 
Well, that's what we need. Those are perfect, and I'm blinded by these lights, oh my gosh. So I jokingly said that I'm surprised my battery for my light didn't die yet, but then my battery for the camera died, so there's that. So I'm going to put this in the 400 degree oven that's not preheated yet for approximately 30 minutes but at like the 25 minute, 20 to 25 minute mark I'm going to put some cheese on top. So it's been about 20 minutes so I'm going to put some cheese on and then I'm going to put it back in the oven for about 5 more minutes and it looks so good I can't wait to eat it. Hmm? I said put all of it on. Yeah but then you can't put it on individually. What is happening? Why is there something Someone's calling? calling you. Oh my gosh, that is so weird. I thought it was the beginning of the NS song. I guess we scored. That is hilarious. Okay, going back in the oven. Oh my gosh. Seriously. It's all done and then tried the mashed potatoes before and they're so good. Seriously, they're so good. So anyway, I mean, they're so delicious. She's always like, you keep saying they're so good. Mm. This is very good. You need to try it. Make sure you put, you need butter and shredded cheese is something you should do five minutes before you take it out of the oven. It's really good. Try it. So my next recipe is simple smoked sausage and potato soup and here's all the ingredients and everything that you're going to need. Hey, so my next video, or, oh my gosh, no. So my next recipe is going to be what I just showed you, simple smoked sausage and potato soup and this is everything you're going to need and it is a box and a half of this chicken broth, two cups of milk, this is actually, um, what is it, almond milk, Maddie? Yeah. But that's because I didn't want to use all of our milk. Some minced garlic, some little potatoes, of a whole bag of those, a link of the smoked sausage, some cornstarch, and my seasonings. Do cornstarch. I said cornstarch. I have an oxa now. Let's go to the starve. So anyway, I'm going to start off by putting some... I don't have a Dutch oven, so I'm just going to use my regular pot. So I'm going to put some olive oil into my pot, and I'm going to... Wash these and quarter, like cut them in quarters and then put them in my pot first for 10 minutes. Hi, Mom, Bailey. What? What's Becca talking about? She said, there she goes. What's she doing? What are they watching? Why are you watching Willy Wonka? There's a more moronic freaking movie. Oh, the newer one. Not. The newer one. Oh, that's awful. The newer one's better. You know everybody can tell you. That's awful. But it's newer. Yeah. Don't watch the old one. Okay, so while I have my potatoes cooking on the stove, I am going to go ahead and cut my smoked sausage so that I can add that next. And cook that up for about 10 minutes before adding, you know, my broth and seasonings and milk and all that. Ew, don't chew by the camera again. You cannot see. Oh no, it's not happening again. Are you done? <laughs> okay, you're right in front of the camera, but like, how did you not do that? So now I'm actually going to put my seasonings in, which is salt and pepper, teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, and I'm also going to put some oregano in there. I'm not sure if I actually put that on my recipe or not, but that's what I'm going to do. So two, two teaspoons of all of this, onion powder, garlic powder, and oregano. 
And then eventually I'm going to put one tablespoon of minced garlic as well, but I still have to put all of my um, broth in here too, so I'm going to wait for that. This looks really good now, so what I'm going to do is pour my box and a half of chicken broth in here, which is about six cups, and then I'm going to boil it, and then I'm going to cook it until everything is like tender in here, and that's what I'm going to do. It is looking and smelling really good. I'm also going to add my, I forgot my, tablespoon of minced garlic. And that's more than a tablespoon? It's not because this is a... Teaspoon. Uh, what does it say? Teaspoon. So we're going to add more than that actually. So that's about a tablespoon of minced garlic. Okay, so now I'm going to pour in my two cups of milk and it has my cornstarch in it as well. So I'm just going to cook this for another 5 to 10 minutes until it's thickened. So there you go. Okay, so here is the soup. And what I did was I we made some rice and that's at the bottom of this. And so it's really good. You should try it. Okay, so this is the next recipe I'm going to be doing. Taco Ranch Chicken Soup and everything that you will need and the measurements. And today I'm going to be making my Taco Ranch Chicken Soup and everything that you're going to be needing is chicken broth, chicken, taco seasoning, ranch, packet, flour, butter, heavy whipping cream, minced garlic, milk, and a can of black beans. I'm going to drain them and rinse them and all your measurements were on my chalkboard. So I'm just going to start with putting my butter in the pan and my garlic. Let's go. Okay, so first all I'm going to do is melt my three tablespoons of butter in my pot and then add my minced garlic and cook that for a minute. And then I'm just putting two tablespoons of minced garlic and just heating it for a minute before I put my four tablespoons of flour. And I'm adding my flour and I'm gonna whisk it continuously for a few minutes making a roux. This is all about medium heat. Next I am adding my one cup of milk and half a cup of heavy cream. And I'm just going to keep whisking, whisking. I did not just say that. Whisking it continuously for a few minutes to you know, so it's thickened up and it's on a uh, medium heat right now. So this is very thick and you want it like medium, medium high heat. So now I'm going to stir in my whisk in my three and a half cups of chicken broth right now. It is really thick. Okay, so I just cooked that up for like, you know, five to seven minutes. And now I'm gonna pour my chicken in and my, my chicken and my taco seasoning and my ranch packet. It's just about a cup and a half of chicken I cut up from a rotisserie chicken. And then I'm going to add a ranch packet and about approximately a tablespoon of taco seasoning. Ish. Stir that around and keep it cooking. So lastly, I'm going to add my can of black beans that was drained and rinsed. And I always think that cooking chili and stew and soups and stuff like that is just, it's just better cooked longer, you know, on a low, 
on a low setting, so I'm just going to continue to cook this. Ooh, that looks good. On low for, it just depends on how long you want to cook it. Other than that, it's done. I'm going to let it cook here for a while. On Okay, so it is totally done. So what you should do is serve this up with those little grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes and or sour cream, onions, green onions, anyway, rice, totally good. Mm, this is really good. You should totally try this. Very taco-y with chicken and black beans is perfect. Make sure you put cheese on it too. Sour cream for sure. Try it! Here's everything you're gonna need and the measurements. I have it all laid out on the table for you and that is the chicken broth, some Greek yogurt, a can of pumpkin, some cheese, some seasonings, minced garlic, and my bag of one pound of penne. So I'm just gonna start by cooking my noodles. Miss the pot. Don't forget your salt, your water. So I have olive oil in my pan. I'm gonna add the garlic and then I'm gonna start adding the pumpkin puree and the broth and the seasonings. And that was a cup of pumpkin and this is about a cup and a half of broth. It calls for vegetable broth. I don't have that. I'm just using chicken broth. Did you get the noodles out, Bailey? Yes. Huh? Yeah. You can't see. Wait, I want a big one. Take two. Take two. Take two. Take two. Put some salt and pepper, and I'm making a mess naturally. One teaspoon of chili powder, it says. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a pretty fall color. All right. That's pretty. And then you need to bring it to a high simmer, covering it first with bubbles constantly. Cook it for 10 to 15 minutes until it's thickened. It's pretty thick right now. I don't know what they're saying. Okay, then start splattering. So it says to take your fourth of a cup of yogurt into a bowl. And then a half a cup of your sauce and mix them together, then put them back in the pan. And then you, it says Parmesan cheese, I don't have that. So, I won't be using that. I'm just gonna put some shredded cheese in there. So then you put this back into the pan on the stove, and then you have Parmesan, you put Parmesan on it. I'm opting out of putting the cheese on it. It's still pretty like this. I don't have any Parmesan, so that would have been pretty to garnish it with. Ooh, this looks really good. So here is the recipe I am going to be using today. It is super easy chicken dumplings, and there's everything that you will need. I have it all laid out for you, and it's the two cans of cream of chicken. I'm gonna do about half of this chicken broth. This is a 16 ounce can of the biscuit dough. I'm using one of those. Three cups of chicken, my spices, salt and pepper. Okay, so now I'm going to take my enormous biscuits and now I'm gonna change my freaking batteries. Are you serious right now? <laughs> Okay, so as I was saying, I got another stupid light. I'm gonna take these biscuits. It says cut them in quarters, but these are big and I am going to not do that. I'm gonna cut them smaller than that. Woo! And I have, I'm cooking spaghetti too, to go with it, so. Anywho, there's that. The spaghetti was not on the, you know, the board, the recipe, whatever, because it's not actually in this recipe. 
but I thought we'd have this with uh, everything else on top. I thought that would be good. Two cans of cream of chicken, my half a box of chicken broth for my chicken, and my seasonings in to this pan. So you're supposed to heat this up to a simmer. Okay, so I've had my soup on like medium high heat and now I'm gonna put the dumplings in here and turn it down to like a low medium heat and cover it for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the biscuit parts are like no longer doughy in the inside. This is smelling ridiculously good. Okay. This is such an easy, easy chicken and dumplings. Moving this to my large stock pot because there was no room in my other pan, pot, whatever I was using this. Okay, so it's all done and it looks really good. Oh my gosh, this was so easy too. So I have to try it. Make sure you get parts of everything, the chicken, dumplings, and spaghetti. Hello. <laughs> Oh, very good. It tastes like real dumplings, and yet it's biscuits and very easy. Try it! Okay, thank you so much for watching our video, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you try some of these recipes as well. So, we will see you the Sunday after Thanksgiving. And hope you have a great day and have an awesome Thanksgiving. Bye.